Hello guys, this is uh, Michael Gillespie, we're doing this here is the I Love Where I Live for Fort William which was, reject which was rejected by Radio 2, enjoy. Fort William for me features a lot of interesting things like sporting events like the Six Day Trials and the Mountain Bike World Cup. Which hosts the British, where Fort William hosts the British round at Nevis Range. To continue the outdoor theme, there's a lot of outdoor activities here like canyoning, mountain biking, all that sort. So, I should know, I used to work in Outward Bound. Other events include the Ben Nevis Race, which of course Ben Nevis of course is highest mountain in Britain, just five miles from Port William. A lot of interesting mountains and locks as well, the scenery is great. Also, also, I also named Outdoor Capital UK. The recognition shows that the Queen has been here before. In sport, Shinty is also very popular around here. The shinty popularity does affect the football team a bit. So in the in the Highland League, it never the football team hasn't really fared very well. And to me, I think the shinty popularity's kind of been a cost to that. The people around here have been very nice, though. There are a lot of nice places, good, good shops, good a good hospital as well. I've never been in there often enough. To think that, but I'm sure it's very nice. Uh, also, uh, there's. Uh, oh, <laughs> shouldn't we be doing that? I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this actually. Anyway, uh, we may have lost our cinema in the past, but the amount of shops we have here, we've got, we have had Argos, we've had now got Argos, and they certainly, for them, they certainly know how to. Take a bit piece of land and turn it into something great. Uh, good charity shops as well. Uh, nice to see here that Save the Children are back up and running as well. They're running as well. So we have some famous people from Fort William as well, including uh, MP Charles Kennedy. I know where his house is actually, not far from where I live. Also Jack McConnell. Uh, his, his niece, my sister, went to, in, to school with. Also a great school, they're currently doing their uh, work, restoring it, into welcoming it into the 21st century. I'm sure they're doing a good job there. Doing a good job there. And also some famous people include, from here include Justin, out of Colin and Justin and uh, Carl Kirkwood would have been interesting to hear that would have been a Jeremy Vine would have wanted to hear that radio radio BBC colleague that sort of thing also uh, I like to point out some interesting facts about Fort William as well in terms of it's been come to recognition thanks to a certain Harry Potter. Most of the films have been filmed here in Fort William as well. Including the including an interesting fact that my sister herself appeared on the, the Hogwarts Express as an extra. Well Fort William is great to go, it's just if you want to know where it is, it's just uh sixty ish miles south of Inverness and a hundred miles ish north of Glasgow. Okay, if it's just it's just on the A eighty two between Inverness and Crane Larrick. If you get to if you get to Sweden Bridge you've gone too far, you need to back out. Sorry, you need to back out. And if you go if you if if you head to Corn Ferry you have to go a bit further. I think I may have said about everything. Also, that's great skills. You get charter teams. I'm an ambassador to uh, Rockhaver Action on Disability. 
Well, this is me signing off. Hope you enjoy watching this, and uh, I may the limit was actually 200 words, but this is my video, and I could say what I like, and I could put in, put in as much as I like now. Thank you.